sorry. It was the um, dancing, the dancing, dancing the breeze alone. alone. Yeah. Yes, yes. yes, I saw actually the video clip, and it was just amazing. Thank you. Um, We're gonna talk about that later. Uh, oh, exactly. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so that was um, Reality Club, and. They just performed here in, the, in our studio of C today. We want to talk more about their uh, latest single and also the albums that they have already had as well and also how they could actually won the Munich um, um, competition for the music video. So we want to have a look at that later on. And now let's take a look at the Re Reality Club's year so far. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> Reality Club's latest song, Dancing in the Breeze Alone, won Best Asia and Pacific Music Video at the 2023 Munich Music Video Awards in Germany. The news was announced on the band's official Instagram account. The Wild West themed music video of Dancing in the Breeze Alone was released on February the 24th. The music video was shot on location in Bali and was directed by Ibnu Dian under Mirror Films. The song features a choral ensemble by Kanchatala, as well as a 46-piece orchestra played by the Budapest Scoring Orchestra, which have also been responsible for scoring music for many other notable films, such as Squid Game and Get Out. Faris. Faris. Iya. Faris. Fatia atau Cia? Ya. Enak kan Fatia kali? Fatia. Iya ada Fatia. Fatia. Ya, Faris, Fatia, Nugi. 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 Era. 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 Oke, okay. Era, Nugi, Fatia, Faris. Yeah. Oh. oh. Oh, it's already on. Oh my god. Hi. I'm so sorry. <laughs> We're just oh, getting yeah. to know uh, the just members of, know. of the band because it is important when we're, when we're about to interview someone, we yeah. have to know their names. We need to know their names in Reality Club because Reality Bites, we forget so yes. much. Yeah. Oh <laughs> That's my why. god. So, anyways, here with us uh, is the... The members. Members, yes. Themselves. Please welcome Reality Club. Yes, so we got Faiz, Fatia, um, Nugi, Nugi, Nugi and, and also Era. Era. Yeah. Good thing we asked. <laughs> Good thing we asked. Yeah, us. so... Two, yeah. First of all, congratulations on uh, winning the Best Asia and Pacific Music Video at Munich Music Video Awards mm -hmm. 2023. Thank awesome. you. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, I know this question is cliche, but how do you feel about winning that um, oh, event? <laughs> Super happy. It was a surprise, really. We, ne we never really expected that we'd actually win the thing. But um, <laughs> when we got the news, we all kind of like freaked out, like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh my yeah. god. Hope. Super happy. Yeah. yeah. Everybody, we yeah. did. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. It was. It was a good. Uh, it was a good day. Mm -hmm. All right. But well, I mean, this is not the first time that you won something, right? But there was a journey from you um, starting this in 2016. Yes. Yes. And then you took your band to the international stage. Tell us uh -huh. about it. Yeah, Ooh. we talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, oh, did we win anything else? We've been nominated a couple of times for yeah. the Anugrah yeah. Music yeah. Indonesia Ami Awards. Ami Awards. Yep. However, we haven't won up until this day. <laughs> but hopefully next year we can win something. But um, yeah, we have gotten a lot of um, presence uh, internationally. Mm, yeah. we, uh, we've played a couple of shows um, mm. abroad such as Japan, Singapore, Malaysia. Wow. Malaysia, and we were chosen to play at South by Southwest 2020, 2020. 2020. 2020. but we didn't go to Texas for the festival because of the COVID. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, uh, I guess throughout our music career, we have had a couple of wins, mm -hmm. thankfully. Yeah. So how did you know that you won the uh, festival or the competition in Munich? How did you know that you guys got chosen? Mm. It was all our manager's idea. Yeah, it was all our manager's <laughs> yeah. idea. Yeah, uh, I think um, he had the idea to... He didn't tell us about it, but he submitted uh -huh. our work. Uh -huh. He submitted Dancing in the Breeze Alone, the music video. Oh. And then um, when it was nominated, he's like, Hey guys, look! And we're, yeah, we're all we, shocked. Yeah, we're all shocked. Yeah. 
Wow, so you didn't even know. We didn't know it was submitted, but thank, thank God. Yeah. Yeah. Could, could you please um, explain to us the concept of the video? Why did you choose that concept and what's the relation between the song itself and the, yes, and the concept okay. of the video? Yeah. Maybe the songwriter can talk about oh, it. Oh man, okay. Oh, you're the one who wrote the song. Yeah, I did. I wrote both songs. Uh, Dancing in the Breeze Alone is um, a song about the end of a relationship. So we wanted to create this kind of like dark atmosphere. Um, but more than anything, I was just fascinated with this kind of cowboy culture. Mm -hmm. In a way, like there's this, there's a video game called Red Dead Redemption, and that game like and Westworld and Westworld series, like series. all this like cowboy in media and everything. And I don't know, I had this idea of let's make a cowboy song, like let's do something fun, do something no one's ever done before. I think in our circle. In our circle. <laughs> and um, when I presented the song to the guys, that's how it usually goes. Like one guy presents or one girl, they're like, okay. This is interesting. Mm. And we all had to relearn to make this cowboy song. Mm -hmm. But the concept is, as you can see in the uh, music video, it's it's super cowboy. And we're like, let's go all cowboy. Yeah. We had horse riding lessons. Yeah. We, wow. we, yeah, we yeah. took yeah. horse riding lessons to do the music video. And um, we shot it in Bali. And in Nevada. Song. We shot it in Nevada, yeah. Shot it in Nevada. <laughs> Nevada <laughs> fan Indonesia. Yeah. 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 That was like Bali. And then Nevada, oh, my, oh my god, that's far away. Yeah, but that yeah, the whole concept. Um, cowboys, oh, outlaws. 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 And, and I think you did an outstanding job. I mean, oh, they you. won an award. I know that in, in the video clip or the music mm. video, sorry, um, there's this uh, titles for each of you. Mm. Yeah. Tell, us, yeah. tell yeah. us about that. Oh man, just paying homage to, you know, old cowboy movies, they usually yeah. like. And they have like the title the good, of the person. The bad, the ugly. So I'm the brother. Mm. I'm the sister. I'm the inventory clerk. <laughs> inventory clerk, okay. And I'm the informant. Informant. Yeah. The informant. Yeah. Okay, what kind of information did you give them? <laughs> A lot of stuff. <laughs> Lots of <laughs> gold, gold, money. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, we want to know. Where does this inspiration come from? Because I knew that you were uh, covering a lot of um, songs before mm. this time, and you came up to this uh, indie rock or indie mm -hmm. pop, uh, you know, genre. Mm. Is there any musician that is your inspiration? Mm. Yeah. Or okay. Any band? So I think coming together as a band, we we yeah. all had our own inspirations. Yeah. But we had like one middle ground, and that was indie rock or indie pop. Indie, mm. yeah. indie rock. Indie rock. Yeah. yeah. Indie rock. And so, like, I know that Faiz's and mine, we're brothers and sisters, by the way, we're siblings. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's yeah. why it's the brother and the sister oh. in the yeah. music video. <laughs> but yeah. um, that's why. Yeah, we both uh, are heavily influenced by Arctic Monkeys, mm -hmm. The Strokes, yeah. The Cure. Yeah. Um, and then we got all got together, and uh, Noogie's main influence is Red Hot Chili Peppers. <laughs> you love most Red Hot of Chili it, Peppers. mostly, yeah. So like, uh, yeah, when we got together, Ed Ed loves like more jazzy stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. say that, I guess. Yeah, and then when yeah. we got together, we just started creating that kind of sound that we produced. Like yeah. our first ever single is called Is It The Answer? Mm. And a lot of people, or um, I don't know, we've gotten um, called like, oh, it sounds like the Cranberries, or it sounds like yeah. the Cardigans. Arctic yeah. It sounds like, it sounds like Arctic Monkeys. Monkeys. Yeah. Well, that's because that's our influence. It sounds like you. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds yeah. like, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. And why is yeah. all the lyrics in English? Uh, I mean, you know what? I have known uh, Fatia through the internet, of course, not personally, <laughs> because she often uploaded videos uh, of her uh, speaking in other languages, oh. right? Oh, and speaking in accents. Accent. Oh, well. With accents, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You, you, you can ask her to do it. She's okay. so you know, good. I, I, okay, this is this is gonna be easy for you with African accent. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> oh. No, 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 You know, I I know I did an accent video like years ago, yeah. but actually the main guy who can do accents is Nugi. Nugi. <laughs> Nugi's the best. Both Which one? Which accent? British. No, Nugi British. does like a lot of different... Scottish words. accent. You can do Scottish Please. Scottish accent? <laughs> oh my god. Just a little got, teaser there. What the place with oh. the Celts in? <laughs> <laughs> All personals in this band um, can speak English really, really well. Like a native yeah. speaker. So is that why you uh, make songs in English, not in Basa Indonesia? Yeah. I mean... I think it's just uh, we want it to be as true as possible and as natural as possible when we create our art, right? Mm. So, um, me and Fatia, we kind of grew up in different countries and yeah. such, and English became my personal native language. Mm -hmm. So that's why it comes out in English because that's just the most comfortable language that for you can me. Express yeah. your to express yes. how I feel, yeah. And 
you know, it's not. We've always wanted to create a song in Indonesian or something. It just doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, for me, like it's not, I'm, yeah. yeah. We can't really write. We can't reach yeah. the level of literacy we want to reach mm. if I have to write in Indonesian. Even My, for four of us, I mean. Okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But does it help though having <laughs> this English songs? Mm. Uh, does it help you to? let's say go international, to right, be accepted right. in the international world. Tell us about it. I think it's a bit of pros and cons. Yeah. I think from a pro standpoint, yeah, I'm like, of course it's easier for people to accept the music because it's in a language they understand, right? They right. don't have to translate it mm -hmm. and everything. But maybe in a con standpoint, locally, there is a sort of ceiling, you know, we yeah. can't reach higher than the ones who have songs in Indonesian because mm. the mass Maybe their English isn't up to that level. Maybe they prefer Indonesian songs. So, I guess locally we're limited, but internationally we leave the door open, right? Yeah, By having cool. songs in English. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, when I see you in the music video, like for example the picture behind, <laughs> you look yeah. amazingly transformed into somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> now, that was what? really cool. We haven't shaved for like how many days? You haven't shaved oh, for, yeah. oh, for two months, I two guess. Two months. Era left his mustache. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. didn't was younger, so her hair was black. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. yeah. All right. Yeah, so that's fun. I don't know about uh, your. You know, you've reached this point, but how do you see your band in the future? And also, is there any place, how far you think the indie music has on the uh, Indonesian music scene, you know, mm. in the broader spectrum? Mm. Mm. <laughs> well, how far, okay, for the first question, how far do we want to take our band? Oof. The farthest it can the go. We are very ambitious, us yeah. as a band, since the beginning. Um, I think that's also what helped us stay together mm -hmm. throughout these years is that we're very ambitious and we have the same goals. Like, if if Grammy is the goal, then Grammy is the goal. You yeah. know what I mean? Wow. We've never I really like talked about it. I like it. <laughs> but yeah. like, we've always had that in mind. We want to go as big as we can. And for, what was the second question? Yeah. Um, in the Indonesian music Indonesian? industry. Yeah. yeah. Mm. You, do you think the indie music has its, you know, special place? Indie music yeah. has a special place. Um, well, at least uh, it has a special place for for yeah, us. For us. <laughs> yeah, because Definitely. we grew up with it, yeah. you know, and yeah. uh, it shapes our music. It shapes uh, to what we are right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And for that reasons, I think it holds a very it special does. place, yeah. of course. Yeah, yeah. As uh, for, at us, least for us, at least. For but us, I least. think, like, for the Indonesian music industry, yeah. it plays a big, big role because, like, for like gigs and festivals and such, mm -hmm. like, the bands that are invited are like indie bands basically, yeah. people, bands who play in indie pop or indie rock music and um, I think... To our knowledge. To, to our, our knowledge. To our knowledge. Well there's like a lot of pop singers too but yeah. it's like a big mix and I think <laughs> yeah, now yeah. it's like people don't really think about the genres anymore like it's mm. whatever sounds good yeah. is sure. what's popping or what's viral because yeah. even on like, can I name a platform? Like sure. The tea. TikTok. Like <laughs> the tea. <laughs> the tea. <laughs> the tea. <laughs> the TikTok. Double I mean, tea. a lot of people are exploring new music from that application. Yeah. And the music that that uh, comes out of it is like, it's not only pop or hip hop. It's like a yeah. wide variety, um, variety of music. Yeah. So I think that's really cool. And, and speaking of TikTok, one of your songs, yeah. Yeah. Uh, which is Anything You Want went viral, right? On yeah. TikTok as uh, background sound that people use, a lot yeah. of people use. And if you check on their YouTube channel, the mm -hmm. music video of that song has hit 3 million views, I guess? Oh, wow. thank Or more. You. That's awesome. I mean, uh, <laughs> so thank you. Uh, how do you utilize digital platforms to promote or mm -hmm. connect with your fans all over the world? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, we use it to the extreme. <laughs> <laughs> That's especially, true. Especially yeah. af like after the pandemic, like 2020, I mean. Mm -hmm. We use it constantly, of course, to promote our songs. And we try all types of medias like YouTube, <laughs> I can yeah. say there, YouTube, YouTube Shorts, TikTok. And I think with the help of our manager mm -hmm. our label. and our label, yeah. um, we we love doing it anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like if they tell us to, because you know, like back in the day, there were a lot of artists who were complaining <laughs> that they can't, <laughs> the like label my label's me forcing me to make TikTok videos. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah. Uh, we feel happy to do it because, like, that's the way to get discovered anyway. And did you yeah. even predict that this song was gonna be viral? Oof. No. When you no. first released it? No, oh, wow. not at all. It's so weird how, like, that song, the one that we didn't really put that it. much effort into, seriously? Yeah, was oh. the one who got For, viral. Yeah. 
What do you mean? We, we, we put like, like we put all our music effort video on and the further part. Uh, music video, yeah. Music video, video and marketing, we didn't yeah. put as much effort. That's the thing with social media. Sometimes you create a very uh, yeah. tailor-made content. Yeah. You, yeah. You put so much effort into it, and then the Stop. engagement was yeah. so yeah. off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you make something super random, spontaneously, yeah. and yeah. then it whoosh. It goes viral. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can't and then you're really on C today. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we're wondering, is there any upcoming project or oh, do you yeah. have any performance that perhaps our viewers can actually come and see? Yes. Uh, well, yeah. for all our updates, you can follow our social media on Instagram. That's where we post all our schedule and everything. I think the, the one we have closest is this Sunday, we have a show. Yeah, ah, um, very close. Yeah, this Sunday we have a show, details on our socials. <laughs> yep. But um, I guess in terms of big projects, we are uh, going to be releasing an album this year. Mm. Again, so this is going to be the, th the third, third album. Third. Yeah, and this album actually we finished it in 2021. But <laughs> since the pandemic, everything keeps getting pushed back. So now yeah. we're finally releasing it. Yeah. And um, along with the album, we're also thinking of doing a tour. So mm -hmm. wish us luck. We're Within Indonesia have... region or? Indonesia first and then we'll... Um, We'll see if we can. Because yeah, you really, you really <laughs> yeah. have already gone to the at least our neighbors, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Malaysia, oh, that's cool. Malaysia, Singapore. All Japan. the best of luck yes. for all of Thank you, you and for Fatia also um, juggling the role between <laughs> being, oh, yeah. a mother. being a mother and <laughs> being a vocalist. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. you. Newbie mom, right? Yeah, new mom. Yeah. Well, eight months. Lovely. <laughs> eight months. Eight yeah. months. Oh, she'll be crawling around. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, yeah. we're not going to say goodbye right yeah. now yeah. because we're still going to be seeing them on the next segment. But meanwhile, we are. We're going to take a little break, but after mm -hmm. the break, we will be... There's going to be a game. Is it for us or is it for them? For you. you for us. We, <laughs> for us? We're going to have to guess the songs that they're going to Challenging. Okay. Don't go anywhere. Stay with us. Let's study it. <laughs> <laughs>